what's up everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be building my very first workbench so let's take a look at the product that we have to build it with so i'm gonna take the camera and we're gonna check it out so let's start off with the wood so we have here we have a two by eight by eight feet that's gonna be the, the tabletop of it then we have two four by fours by ten feet that's gonna be the legs i'm thinking it'll be Mm, three and a half feet high so around yay high and then we have four two by six by ten feet and that those are going to be um the side paneling and then to stabilize it so let's take a look at the hardware we have also so we have screws then we have bolts to hold down the vice that i got i got my drill bit out here just in case well just in case i am going to use it but, and we have my craftsman saw with a DeWalt blade. Then we have my drill. We have my trusty marker. And we have the Craftsman 25 measuring tape for my gloves. And here is the vise. So the floor is away from the, from the sprinklers going on and wetting the trees over there. So I know I'm not gonna, when I cut the wood, I'm gonna place the wood to the dry spot where the dog bowls are, but yeah. So let me put the camera back up. Let's see. Focus in. All right, so we are gonna be building my workbench. I did a little diagram right here, which you guys can see on what I'm talking about. So the two by sixes are gonna be going on the sides right there, all around. And then maybe, maybe I might even do a little shelf on the bottom. I don't know yet. I bought an extra piece of the two by eight so hopefully that's just that i bought it just in case i messed up on cutting it because my first time ever using a saw all right so i have another thing so on the measuring tape when i just say four inches right here i mark on the wood the four inches should i do it under so cut the black line out like the marker or cut on the line now if i cut on the line i don't know how thick that's going to be when i try to match the other pieces to the same size so my first time doing this guys so bear with me all right let's get started we're gonna measure out uh the legs first so i'm, I'm gonna cut 39 inches right here so on the line and let's go All right guys, so my saw that I had wasn't cutting through all the way of the blocks of the four by fours. So I borrowed my father-in-law's saw, not saw, saw. So they're at 37 and a half inches now. So I'm gonna put those to the side and then measure out these bad boys. I'm gonna get these up. Cool. Now I'm gonna measure four feet. And then cut four feet so we have the tabletop.
So now that I got it cut, I'm only using four of the boards. These two are gonna be extra just in case I do a bottom shelf or even a top shelf, I don't know yet. But I'm gonna uh, sand off all these little twigs right here. Also, gonna fix this off too, sand that off. But gotta thank my father-in-law for letting me borrow that because that boy wasn't, the saw blade wasn't big enough to cut it. So yeah, so do this and then bracket it in on the table, which I'll show you guys. Cool. Okay, now I'm gonna pick the best side for my table. So there's a big crack right here, so I'm not gonna use this one. There's also one on the floor already. So let's see, this will be the downside hopefully. Yeah. There's one for the bottom. another crack right here but the other two have cracks so Let me double check the boards on the bottom to see. So we're not using this one. We'll see. It has a crack right here. But we'll save that one for the bottom. It's on both sides of the crack. So we'll save that. And this one over here has the same thing. All right, guys. So I got the top on. I'm going to screw down right here. Two screws, two screws, two screws, two screws. I have this as a safety for me. So that's where the 4x4 is going to go down. This is the one I'm going to bracket in. This one too. This one too. So I'm going to do this one to this side first so I can move this to this side. And then I'll move that over, then do that, and then center the middle one. This is how I'm doing it. This makes sense to me. So it's all flush already. So wish me luck, guys. I screwed in. <laughs> Alright, so center of the board. I'm going to do it right here. And right here. Wish me luck, guys. My first time doing this. So two inches in. This is so nervous, nerve wracking, dude. So I'll do it at the five. Can't believe I'm finally making something.
legit. Like, I am sweating crazy because I'm so nervous. This is the first thing I ever built with my hands. Look, I see my dad. I see my brother help my dad. I see my uncles, friends, but never me. If I can do it, anyone can do it, guys. Oh, snap. That went too far in. Okay. The board lifted, too, so I've got to make sure. I keep my hand on it, which I did not do. I was looking at videos and I didn't do that. It is from top to top. Top to top. Yeah, what these do is long if if you feel it strip once, just pull it out, and reverse it, because these things fucking suck. Thank you so much. Thanks. There you go. They're good because of the way they grip down here, but the way they designed the top, dude, I don't know why they didn't. That's not how I don't think because I was going slow, looking in if just do it fast. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you want to push down too and make uh, the biggest thing. So I pushed down and it went all the way in. That's why I wanted. As soon as you get to the bottom right here, just back off a little bit. You'll get it, dude. I mean, fuck. My first it takes it takes forever to fucking. Even that, sometimes I fuck up. Okay. Yeah, if you go super slow, sometimes depending on the wood and all that. The main thing is try to keep this steady when you're going down. Use two hands if you have to. You got it, man. Yeah, there you go. Oh, wait. What? And you're going backwards now. There you go. Let me show you a a trick in the face. Get out. There you go. Let me show you something. Do you have do you have drill bits? Yeah. Oh, to do a pilot hole? Yeah, first. Where you yeah, gonna put I it? I was telling him we had a counter yeah, thing, but be <laughs> um, because <laughs> there it is. See? Damn. Wow. It's less pressure too because while I'm doing this yeah. one, those I was like, it was, I was like, yeah, it was bouncing. Oh, shit. Pressure to let the drill do the work. Then you know you're gonna fucking, you're gonna go crooked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and this it just drives it. See? Now yeah. he knows oh, you where his. Ah, there you go. There it is, bro. Mm. So my brother-in-law told me to make pilot holes so it'd be easier to drill in. So I marked them already. So we'll just do all the pilot holes right now. Got my drill bit. Now get the screws to screw it in. And I'm excited. I've been saying that so much. So I started at, let's see, I posted on Instagram what I was going to be doing. Let's see. Ah. So this took me t four hours ago. I've been at this for four hours, pretty much. Give or take, because I took a, a bathroom break and then I went to go eat also. But after I got the hang of it and a few uh, pointers from my brother-in-law, everything is good. Do, 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 do. Oi. 
reverse that. <coughs> Go forward. Sweet! Sweet! I'm so excited! Alright, let's see. Let me wipe this off. Now I just gotta install the legs. And then the legs and the vise. I'll get a vacuum to get the nicks and crannies out too, but. All right, so we got the four legs set up with it. Now I'm gonna do the pre-drill the holes and then drive in the screws, baby. All right. Made in the USA. Yes, sir. Whoop. There it is. Whoop. There it is. All right. So let's go the furthest one over there. All right, guys. No lie, I feel accomplished. Like hands down this is the proudest i've been building something like even for my cars like installing the coilovers this tops it 100 percent like i am so 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 excited for this yet yeah, i'm three beers in i before this i tried to do the the pre-drills this one didn't have a battery. So, oh, yep. Let's go. Let's go. Ba boom. Oh my god, guys. I am done. Well, building it. So, I'm contemplating should I put something blocking this? I don't know yet. And then, or having something block this part. I don't know. But I'm super excited. Super excited, guys. Okay. So, now we got my vice on where I want to keep it. So I'm a circle where I want to start drilling. And I was told to start small drilling and then go wider. All right, guys. So I'm super, I'm super, super excited. I just got the the bench finished, and let's check it out. So, well, I got finished for today. It's already five o'clock, and I've got to take care of my son and got to feed the fiance. So I put the a brace right here to make it look nice, and the dogs are there fighting, but beautiful. I just got to sand it down again. Look at it. It is so nice. It is so nice to me. My first time building one. Got the vice set up. Perfect. Oh my God. Now, tomorrow maybe for part two, if I do a part two, I'll put a brace or a bracket. It doesn't need a brace, it's sturdy in my eyes. 
I know this video is kind of everywhere and I got frustrated a couple times, but I'm super happy that it's done. And hopefully you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.